tshana metsi nkwa mo khotla sepenyana ke motho ka takata pere sa makhwa o kataletse le dipusumane mo tileng kwa feta yana khaitse ya sirupe le dikeleng ke motho a mo mogolo botlo ditong kwa kwa o difaga maeta ma khodi a makhala motho a etetse mo motho kwa ka se gaufi ba botse ko a re nna na ke ditlaela di loba mbo mmabo na bo mme ba tswa mme o tsa modike ba ke tswa mo khwe ke motho a bo khutha mo khodi a bo motlhe se a nyatse nka selepe a senyetse mo sadi mo nyako ka selepe ke motho are 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 ba fega ska la thega Thank you very much. That's our culture, and that is my mother. She's 75, first time out of the continent. Um, this is what we do in our culture on special occasions such as this one. Um, greetings to all graduates, parents, members of the senior executive team of the university, academics, and all distinguished guests. It is a great honor and privilege for me to stand before you at this graduation ceremony and to accept this honorary doctoral degree today. But to me, it is more than an individual recognition, not only because my mother is here, my sons are here, but because this is a recognition of the many people who made me, those I represent, the many boys and girls all over the world, especially in my home continent of Africa, living in poverty and wondering if things will ever get better because I have been there. My journey started under a tree where I did my grade one starting school. And it's amazing that I can be here today. Three things I wanna share with you briefly before I sit down. First, I hope that this honorary doctorate says to all those people who look like me, who it feels like there's no hope for the future, I hope it says to them that with hard work and consistency, anything is possible. There are people today who tell our young people not to work hard, but to work smart. Let me be clear, there is no smart work without hard work. The smart work only happens after the hard work. You do the hard work, and then you can work smart afterwards, like pushing the flywheel. You push it, and once it has momentum, you can then do the smart work. So there's no substitute for smart work, for hard work. So go ahead and be ambitious, but also be ready for the hard work. Number two, to succeed in the real world, you have to be willing to start at the bottom. These days, everyone wants to be an overnight success, but starting at the bottom makes you hungry and determined. It is also a great way to find out, hard as it may be, that you're not as smart as you think you are. Starting at the bottom builds character, and it's the best way to learn. So if you ever have an opportunity to start at the bottom, don't look down on it even if you're the only one with a master's degree in the team, go for it. The idea is to be in, and then you can make it to the top. Number three, your actions, right or wrong, have consequences. You choose an action, you also choose the consequences. That's just how adulthood works. I'm not just talking about going to jail or losing sleep. I'm talking about your good name, your reputation. It is much bigger than the job, the deal, the promotion, or the money. It is who you are. Don't give it away. Be strong about what you believe in. Be strong about who you really are, the pluses and the minuses. What you will and will not do to get ahead. What you can and cannot live with. The world out there will test your ethics and therefore teach you ethics every day. And it's never too early or too late to learn or to get your ethical act together. 
So make sure as you graduate that you choose mentors whose ethical choices you admire. Note that I didn't say whose bank balances you admire, I said whose ethical choices you admire. Ask them to share with you the ethical guideposts you need as you pursue your career, because each one of us, doesn't matter how smart we are, we need them. Well, those are the three things I wanted to share with you today, but I wish, I wish, I wish I could tell each one of you that you will achieve greatness in whatever you do. Maybe you won't, but maybe you will, who knows? But all of you can achieve happiness and a rich life by taking your time, working hard, seeking good advice, and giving thanks for the progress that you make every day. It is within you to carve out your future and create your own destiny. Just keep this feeling of endless possibility alive as long as possible. I wish all of you the strength, faith, and courage to succeed. So go out there, be free, and achieve it. Congratulations.